disinformation. In a frightening address that should shock all true libertarians, Arden casually called internet freedoms for the Joe Public a, quote, weapon of war. Watch. As leaders, we're rightly concerned that even the most light-touch approaches to disinformation could be misinterpreted as being hostile to the values of free speech that we value so highly. How do you tackle climate change if people do not believe it exists? How do you ensure the human rights of others are upheld when they are subjected to hateful and dangerous rhetoric and ideology? But we have an opportunity here to ensure that these particular weapons of war do not become an established part of warfare. Because for every new weapon we face, there is a new tool to overcome it. For every attempt to push the world into chaos is a collective conviction to bring us back to order. We have the means. We just need the collective will. It's not the first time Bauer Angry Arden has slip, uh, has had a true commie nature slip. Remember this Orwellian demand of her locked up and muzzled citizens during the pandemic? The most up-to-date information daily. You can trust us as a source of that information. Uh, you can also trust the Director General of Health and the Ministry of Health for that information. Otherwise, dismiss anything else. We will continue to be your single source of truth. We will provide information frequently. We will share everything we can, uh, everything you are, else you see, um, a grain of salt. Neil Oliver Ardern proudly trashed civil liberties and bodily autonomy during COVID, and now she's waging war on free speech. What's this about? For any politician to declare that she is the single source of truth is nothing less than dangerous. There's really no other word for it. And I, I could use stronger language if, if I was allowed to do so. But she is nothing less than dangerous. The likes of uh, Ardern, like uh, Trudeau in Canada, it's as clear as the noses on their faces that they fantasise about the kind of totalitarian control that's available to the leader of the Chinese Communist Party. You can see that they fantasise about when the day comes that they're able to round up their political opponents and those that disagree with them and just put them somewhere out of sight. You can see it. You can see it in their faces. And that she is taking to the world stage, that she's going to somewhere like the United Nations and calling on that audience where she evidently thinks she'll find support for her cause. You, you know, the, the world has to pay attention uh, to the to the blatant declaration by people like Jacinda Ardern that for them the days of debate, reasoned argument, winning people over by the rightness of your cause are over, and all they want now is the right, the power, and the necessary technological levers to make sure that what they say goes. This this idea of misinformation, disinformation, those are yet more words that have been rendered meaningless by misuse. She doesn't mean misinformation or disinformation. What she's talking about is dissent. What she doesn't want to hear is a single voice raised against her. She has driven her country and her economy and her people off of a cliff. And yet far from taking a pause for some humility and maybe to look back at what she has done and the mistakes that she has made, she's evidently decided just to keep her foot on the gas pedal flat to the floor you know, she's across the Rubicon now. There's no turning back and no slowing down. Yeah, and, and let's just make sure, Neil, there's that. no criticism. That's the solution, isn't it? And the terrifying thing is, Neil, is that we know uh, the big tech giants, you know, the likes of YouTube and Meta and Facebook and Twitter, they broadly agree with her. Well, we see it all the time. Just just yeah. last week or so, we saw the antics of PayPal, who were defunding mm. or, or or interfering with the cash flow to us for them and and to and to uh, Toby Young's the free speech, speech union yeah. and and so on. You know, they they feel that uh, where they don't like the sound of something or they don't like the look of something, they can throttle it. They can just cut off its blood supply at the flick of a switch. And uh, Ardern, Trudeau and the rest, they look on at, the, at the, the levers of technology that would enable them to silence dissent. And yes, you're right. We've seen it so far. 
that the likes of Facebook and Twitter are all too happy to get lockstep behind these tin pot tyrants that, that will brook no dissent and want the only voices on the airwaves to be their own. Uh, th these people are, are so demonstrably using, uh, you know, Aldous Huxley's Brave New World and Orwell's 1984, not as warnings, but as manuals, textbooks. It, it's, it's blatant now that these people just want the, the they want uh, dissenting voices silenced. They understand now that the technology is there to enable them to do that. And she says that with a smile on her face. She's sinister.